Hey everybody, we're the Foo Fighters. Check out our eight-part docuseries, Sonic Highways, on HBO Go with PlayStation. I really believe that the environment in which you write or record an album influences the musical result. It's great. It all started with the idea of recording at different studios all over the country. Hello, Chicago. Welcome to the Big Easy. Working with different musicians. Punk just seemed kind of a joke to me. Until we seen the Bad Brains, we decided, like, we we're going to do this. Producers and studio owners. I'm very pleased that we were able to make a studio that has survived for all the people that I consider my brothers. You can tie all of these people and places together with these sonic highways. The first question I always ask everybody is, where are you from? Chicago. It's always been a mecca for music. L.A., New York, Austin, New Orleans. To get to Nashville and be on the Grand Ole Opry, that was my first dream. D.C. is go-go. I would assure you that even Obama got a go-go tape somewhere up in there. This is a musical map of America. Cities are changed by the people that go there, but the cities change them as well. Queens, New York, that's where you learn toughness. No one came out of the Seattle hip hop scene, and we were like, we're going to make hip hop music, and it's not going to sound like anything else. From the origins of blues to the birth of hip hop and punk, we've pulled up the family tree of American music. American music, it's about people rejecting what is already there to create something entirely new. To find inspiration for the next Foo Fighters record. I was worried about the first song we were tracking because it's a complex song. This is the studio that I was most looking forward to visiting. It's like my bedroom from when I was a teenager. I know that my music has been influenced by all those different cultures. It's a chronicling of a journey to unravel our musical identity. It's important to have this history be living. Buddy Guy's story is so unbelievable. I could take a button on a string and go zoo, zoo. A young boy making instruments from buttons and strings, becoming a blues legend. My earliest memories of DC was Trouble Fun, being in my room, hearing the Buddles records. This isn't just the making of our most ambitious album. I got a metal chill. Like, oh. This is a love letter to the history of American music. 